I've got an amazing beer to talk about today. Do you sometimes feel that new ideas in craft beers these days are pretty short-lived? I mean, hello, New England IPAs. I sometimes think it's due to the fact that most of the ideas these days are around changing up beer styles or adding weird and wonderful ingredients to existing beer styles. So therefore, other brewers can pretty quickly copy it because there's low barriers to entry as far as the idea is concerned. Which is why I admire so much about what this guy is doing at the moment. He's pushing the boundaries and differentiating himself by really harnessing his local natural environment. I say he's pushing the boundaries with, with this beer, but really he's turning back the clock. He's going old school and relying on the old rustic and, and the nature driven brewing of old times. You know, back in the day when you had French and Belgian brewers on farmhouses, they didn't have the luxury of being able to source ingredients from here, there and everywhere. So they just had to rely on what they had in their local environment and that dictated the kind of beers that they were producing. So now Will's bringing it back for a new age and he's making some kick-ass beers along the way. If you've been involved with the craft beer scene in the last few years, you've probably been around this guy. Probably drank a few beers with him, debated craft beer with him, or maybe like me, been licked on the face by him. If nothing else, Will Tatchell is a passionate man when it comes to brewing craft beer. And I'm really proud to call him my friend. And in fact, due to our friendship, I've been a little bit hesitant about, you know, talking about his beers in my videos in recent times. So then I thought to myself, remove the friendship. Is he still doing cool stuff? Hell yeah! So then I thought, well, there's probably others out there in the craft beer world that might be interested in what he's up to. This month sees three years of hard work finally coming to fruition for Will. You know, this is a passion project, but really, I think it's a smart business decision as well, because doing what he's doing is very hard to replicate. In fact, it's really hard for him to replicate because he's had to put so much time, blood, sweat and tears into producing this, so even harder for others who don't have a big-ass farm to draw on those natural environment and natural ingredients, you know, like the water from the natural spring, the hops that he's grown, the barley that he's grown, and this is the kicker. Harvest your own yeast from the surrounding environment? Yep, how cool is that? So Will was able to establish a house yeast strain which is called Everton after isolating two Saccharomyces strains from a spontaneous capture at the brewery almost three years ago. Beer nerds, you are going to love that. He calls them his estate ales. And something I really love is the fact that in terms of food miles, the furthest his ingredients have travelled to make these beers is 435 metres. So from ground to glass, I give you the Van Diemen Estate Ales. Just a quick note, Edward and Max are Will and Kaylee's sons, with Oscar, the third son to have a beer named after him, coming soon. This is Max, and Will is pretty damn proud of this beer. I think his words were, beer of the year, and he may have thrown a little bit of an expletive in there as well. Suffice to say, he's pretty damn proud, but he may also be a little bit biased. But anyway, as you can see here, it pours pretty lively. It's a nice pale yellow straw colour with a pristine white head sitting atop the beer. You know, describing the aroma is really hard for me, so I'm just going to say that I crushed up a lemon fruit tingle and I sorted it. Fizzy, tingly, lemony, with a really nice fresh undertone. The taste of this beer, I'll describe it as a beer lover's champagne. Citrusy, pretty lively, slightly bready, nice and fruity. It's quite complex, there is so much going on in this beer. You know, I don't normally reach for the saisons from the beer fridge at my local bottle shop, but I'm telling you this, I really want more of this one. A great Tassie homestyle twist on a Belgian classic. I'm at the shack for Christmas this year, so I know what I'm going to be having with my Christmas lunch. Bugger the wines, no way, we're going to be drinking some Van Diemen Estate Ales. My old man will be here and the rest of the family and we're going to enjoy these together. I think we might have the Max before lunch with the seafood platter, and then maybe with the turkey at lunch we might crack the Edward. And then after lunch we might open the, uh, the Duchess barrel aged IPA to have with some really nice stinky cheese. How does that sound? You know, these are pretty much like Will's beer children, so no wonder he named them after his real kids. He should be pretty proud, I reckon. Now look, if you want to get hold of these beers, jump onto the Van Diemen website where they've got a special mix six pack available for purchase. And look, until we talk again, all I've got to say is Merry Christmas to you all and thanks for your support this year, and cheers to great beers. <laughs>